Alrighty, let's get started. Whew. So everyone come to, we're going to come to a seated position on the mat. Just collecting ourselves here. Placing this arm to the side, reaching on oblong, we're going to stretch to the side. Keep stretching. So from there, taking it to the side here, the gaze is forward, pressing this hip down. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, coming on up, reaching on up this time, pressing this hip down, this side here, inhale, exhale, inhale to lengthen, inhaling again, and coming on up, nice job. Please join me in a four count breath as we inhale through the nose for four and exhale out through the mouth for four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Nice job, everybody. Reaching up, taking this side, we're going to drop this earlobe to our shoulder just very gently. Inhaling, making sure this shoulder is down, making sure too this shoulder didn't come up but is all the way down as well. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling one more time, exhale. Lowering this arm down, bringing this arm up overhead. Stretching the neck very gently. Inhaling. Exhale, inhale one more time, and exhale, release, lowering down. Bringing the shoulders forward, we're going to go four for, um, forward for four, and then back for four. Taking our time here, really moving very fluidly. So going around in one, and two, and three and four, four to the back, rolling those shoulders back, and three, and two, and one. Nice job, everybody, shaking that out. So this time now, we're gonna take our chin to our chest, and then from there, rotating to the side, very slowly, and then going to the back, stretching the throat, and then to the side again, other side, and to the front. We'll do this one more time on this side and then we'll reverse it. Going at your own pace. And then reversing it now, going to the other side very slowly working those kinks out, especially if we've been sitting or working at a desk.
Nice job. Extending the arms out in front of us, spreading those fingertips wide, and then making a fist, really tight fist. So we're gonna open those fingertips wide, spreading the palms out, wiggling the fingertips, and then squeezing the fist. Open and squeeze. Open, squeeze. Open, squeeze. And open and squeeze. Nice job. And then just doing some very gentle wrist circles here. And then rotating, going the other way. And dropping it down. Nice job. We're going to come to a tabletop position, so our hands and our knees. Making our way there. Making sure that the shoulder is stacked over the elbow, which is stacked over the wrist. And then the fingertips are spread out wide, right on this mat, making a huge imprint here, making some handprints there. The hips are slightly in front of the knees. And from there, we're going to inhale, sending that belly down, tilting the pelvis up. The gaze goes up and then exhaling, bringing that navel to spine, arching the back up, tucking the pelvis, chin to chest. Inhale, that gaze goes up and exhale, squeezing that arrow. Inhale into our cow pose and then exhale into our cat. Taking a few cat cow poses now on your own time really warming up your spine, paying attention to what your body needs, what you're feeling in your back, in your neck, in your shoulders. Nice job. And when you're ready, coming back to that neutral tabletop position here into our flat back. Nice job. So from there, we're going to extend the left leg to the back, very straight. And then we're going to stretch the right arm in front of us as if we're being pulled in opposite directions. Inhale, lengthening and pressing back. Exhale, pushing that shoulder down, inhaling one more time, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then exhale, lowering that hand down, returning that knee. And then from there, inhaling, just scoot up a little bit. <laughs> inhale, pushing this right leg back, extending the left arm in front of us. Inhaling, exhale, inhaling again. And then exhale, lowering down. Nice job. Now this time here, instead of um, going to the back, we're actually going to lift the leg just straight up and then lower down. So we're going to do this together. Ready? Inhale, bringing that right leg up and exhale down. Inhale, bringing that leg up, exhale down. Coming up and out of those hips, exhale down. One more time, up, 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 and exhale down. Nice job. This time going to the left leg, pressing into those hands not the wrists, inhale and exhale. Inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Two more times, inhale coming up and exhale lower down. Inhale to come up and then exhale lowering down. Nice job everybody. This time spreading the knees out, the big toes are touching right here. We're gonna send those hips back, reaching out forward, arms are straight, Lowering the forehead down to the mat into our child's pose. Gently start to come up, pressing those hips up. And this time we're actually gonna make our way to a standing pose, so very slowly so that we don't get dizzy. One leg up and then the other. Nice job. Standing tall in our mountain pose, making sure that we have all four corners of our feet on the mat. Inhaling, exhale. 
Inhaling to lengthen, pressing those shoulders back. This time reaching on up, bending those knees a little bit. Arms come up overhead and then exhale, lowering down into a flat back. From there, hands on the shins, pressing up into a flat back again. And then exhaling, bending those knees down. We're gonna go into our first downward dog here. So I'm in my downward dog that I crawled to. We're gonna bend each leg one at a time, stretching out the heel, stretching out the calf. Really pressing, pressing, pressing. Shoulders are back. And then from there, moving into a plank pose. And then the right leg is gonna come forward <clears throat> into our runner's lunge, pressing on up, reaching on up. <sighs> Inhaling, exhale. <sighs> Inhaling one more time. And then exhale, this right leg goes back, back into our downward dog again. Reaching, <sighs> pedaling out our dog. And from there, looking forward, bringing the left leg forward now, pressing back, inhaling to come up. Exhaling, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, inhale one more time. And then exhale, lowering those hands down, bringing the left foot back to meet the right, back into our final downward dog. Reaching, reaching, reaching from there. Facing forward, we're gonna either step or hop to our, to our hands. From there, just hanging here now, we can bend these knees, grabbing the opposite elbows. Maybe swaying a little bit, just shaking it on out. Sorry, I meant swaying. Don't shake it out, just holding on to the elbows here. Bending those knees gently. Just taking all the weight out of the spine, letting the head hang. And then inhaling, exhale, drop those arms. And on this next inhale, bringing everything up very gently, very slowly. And then exhale, lowering those arms down. Nice job. <clears throat> so working on our standing poses again today, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go into our extended triangle. So I'm gonna demonstrate first and then we'll all do this together. So my toes are facing this way, the long part of the mat. I'm gonna turn this foot in a little bit Turn this foot out a little bit. And then from there, reaching down and then reaching up with this arm as if I'm being pulled in opposite directions, I'm just gonna lean towards this leg. Now I can either put my hand on my thigh, my shin, or if I'm feeling really great today, I can always go to the floor, okay? So let's do this together. With both feet pointing forward, we're gonna turn this foot in a little bit, turn this foot out a little bit. This arm comes up, this arm stays down. From there, tilting to the side. Again, it's your practice. You can do whatever you like. I've showed you the three modifications. Just making sure to, we're pressing this hip back, reaching on up. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale out through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth, keeping this core very tight. And on this next inhale, coming on up very slowly. Exhale, lowering these arms down. <sighs> nice job. We're going to go to the other side. So turning this foot in just a little bit. Turning this foot out just a little bit. Inhale, reaching this arm up. <sighs> making sure that shoulder's not coming up near our ear. From there, tilting to the side. Your hand can either be on your thigh, on your calf, or on the floor. Just make sure that we're not putting it on the knee. Mm -mm. Reaching.
reaching, reaching, reaching. And then you see that I take my time. I don't go right into the deepest part of the pose. I make sure that I have all my alignment in check. This hip isn't coming forward, making sure that my core is engaged, that my shoulders are still back and down. Inhaling, exhale. Inhaling, exhale. Inhaling one more time. And then exhale, coming on up. Ooh, that core is tight and lowering down. Nice job. Shaking those elbow or shaking those arms out, <laughs> elbows. Alrighty, so from here we're gonna go into warrior two. So a few things about warrior two. When we turn this foot out, we can step it out a little bit, okay? Making sure that this knee does not go past the ankle, but stays here. So knee over ankle. And if throughout the pose you need to crawl this foot back a little bit, feel, feel free to do so. But just making sure that this knee is always over this ankle. So let's go. We're gonna turn this foot out a little bit. From there, inhaling, bringing the arms up just like this. Exhale, bending that knee, crawling that back foot out. Reaching to this side here. Inhaling, exhale, reaching on out far, far, far. From here, we're gonna bring this arm up, lowering this back arm down. Kind of um, leaning back a little bit here, stretching the obliques. Inhaling, exhale. And then coming back into our warrior two, straightening that leg, lowering the arms. Turning the toes back in and we're gonna go to the other side. So from there, turning this foot out, this foot can go in a little bit, making sure those hips are still straight with the shoulders. Inhale, bending that knee, stepping that foot out a little bit if you like. Shoulders are down, making sure we're not, they're not coming up here. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, this arm is gonna come up as this back arm lowers. Stretching the obliques here. And then from there, bringing the arms back to where they were in warrior two, just straight up. And then from there, we're actually going to lower this arm down. This forearm is going to come <clears throat> to this side here. And then from there, reaching on out, straightening, lengthening into our side angle pose. And then checking to see that our knee is still, is still over our ankle. Inhaling, exhale, nice job. Shaking it out, coming up on out of that pose. From there, going to the other side, turning this foot out, turning this foot in a little bit, bending that knee, forearm comes to this thigh, and then reaching up long. And I'm even going to travel my foot out a little bit, just so I can get a deeper pose. <sighs> Inhaling, exhale. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale one more time and then exhale, coming on up. This time, we're gonna bend both knees now, bringing them in a little bit. From there, inhaling, our knees are bent, tightening that butt, arms are out to the side. And then from there, just bending the elbows, shoulders are down. We're gonna hold this pose for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Get a drink of water, and we're gonna come back to our poses in like five seconds. <laughs> Ooh. 
cool beans. All right. <clears throat> So from there, with the toes still pointing straight, straight forward, let's put our hands on our hip bones just to feel where they are. And then putting our hands on our shoulder bones, making sure that there's one triangle, one very straight triangle from our shoulders to our hips. No hips over here, shoulders over here. It looks like a cool dance move, but for now we just want everything to be stacked properly. So the two points of the rectangle here, two points of the rectangle there. Nice job. So from there, we're going to bend our knees just a little bit, inhaling, reaching up nice and tall as if someone is lifting us up from our ribs, and we're going to bend forward, hinging from the hips, going all the way down, lowering those hands. Your hands can either grab your ankles or you can drop your hands to the floor. Knees are still bent, so we're going to shake the head yes. Shake the head no. Pressing into the fingertips here. Taking some time, we can go from side to side, swaying from each knee, bending one knee a little more and then the other, straightening one knee a little more and then the other. Just gently going from side to side, very slowly. Nodding that head yes and no. And then coming back to the middle here, we're going to straighten those knees. Hands are still on the floor. And then from there, keeping the left hand on the mat, extending this right arm out straight to the side, we're going to twist from the waist. So the hips are gonna stay where they are and we're going to twist from the waist. And actually everyone can have their hand on their hip here. And then inhaling. And on this exhale, we're going to twist from the waist there and then extending this arm out. So if it's not a perfect triangle, that's okay. We're still working on it. Inhaling, pressing those hips down. Exhale, inhaling through the nose, reaching, reaching out. And then exhale, hand comes down to our hip, twisting forward, dropping that hand. This time, the left arm is going to come, the left hand is going to come to our hip. The right hand is on the mat, inhaling, reaching up long from that lower back, and then from there, exhaling to twist, sending those hips down. And then if you want to, you can extend that arm up. Inhaling to lengthen, and exhale to twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling one more time, reaching on up, and then exhale, lowering this hand down, bending those knees, and then we're gonna grab the ankles here, not hard, but letting the head just nod. Shaking the head yes, shaking the head no. And then from there, coming up now for six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Two more standing poses, and then we're going to make our way to the floor, okay? So with this, um, <clears throat> how do I want to do this? It's warrior one. So what I want to do here, we're actually going to step here. Oh, okay, so... Sorry, I'm getting a little confused. So in our mountain pose, we're just gonna begin in our mountain pose here. Inhaling, exhale. From there, we're going to step forward with our left foot. And then step out a little further in the back with our right. So the left leg is bent. Inhaling, bringing those arms up overhead. Reaching up long, pressing this hip forward. That back leg is straight and the front leg is bent, making sure that the knee is still over the ankle. Inhale, reaching on up long. And then exhale, bringing our arms down into like a goal post. Expanding that chest, opening that chest up wide. And then from there, 
lifting the arms up, and then exhale, lowering those hands down. And then we're actually going to step back, shaking those legs out and go to the other side. So again, in our tree pose here, standing up nice and tall. And then we're gonna put our hands on our hips, stepping front with our right leg. And then the back leg is straight, the front leg is bent. Inhaling, reaching out up long, up overhead. And then down into those goal post arms. Expanding the chest, letting the shoulders drop. Inhale, reaching on up long. And then from there, lowering those hands down to our hips, pressing back, shaking it on out. And then for our tree pose now, we're gonna go back into our mountain pose. Standing up nice and tall again. Inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. Palms come together and then down into heart center, lifting this ankle up, this heel up. This heel is right by this ankle. So you have the option to either keep this on the ground here. You can move your foot to your calf, or if it's in your practice today, that heel can be right in your inner thigh, just making sure it's not next to the knee, okay? Inhaling, exhale, inhaling, exhale. Extending those tree branches long if you want to, you don't have to. And then lowering those hands down. And then releasing that leg, shaking it out again. Back into our mountain pose. Inhaling, reaching on up long. Palms come together down into heart center, pressing those palms together, lifting this heel up next to this ankle. It can either rest there on your calf or it can go to your thigh if you'd like to. Takes me a little bit of practice. See, we're all still working on it. Focusing on a point in front of you for balance, a point that doesn't move. Extending those tree branches long if you want. Bringing those arms down into heart center. And then releasing that foot back into tree pose. Nice job, everyone. We're going to make our way to the ground now. Everyone just sitting up nice and tall. <sighs> From there, we're going to extend both legs out in front of us. And then sitting up nice and tall again. Inhale, reaching up long. Exhale, reaching for the toes. But if the toes are not there today, that's okay. I just don't want everyone looking like this. So making sure that if you are reaching forward and you can't reach your toes, reaching for your calves is perfectly acceptable. Just making sure that our shoulders are down and back and that we have a straight back, really reaching up and out of that lower back there. Up and out of the hips. And you might find the longer you hold this pose, the deeper you'll get into it. So taking a few moments here, filling that belly up with air. Exhale, release. Feeling the ribs expand, feeling that lower back expand. As we send the air deep into the belly. Coming on up now. Very 
very gently, very slowly. And then from there, we're going to, with one, we're going to bring, if this is the, um, this is my right leg, so this is your left leg. We're going to bring the left leg, bending the left leg in, into our half butterfly here. And then very gently crawling on out, reaching for those toes. But again, if it's not the toes today, that's okay. The sole of the foot is next to the inner thigh. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhale. Pressing those shoulders down, making sure that our head is not falling, but is still supported. This neck is still long. Coming on up now for four, and three, and two, and one. Extending the left foot out, bringing the right foot in, bending that right knee. Reaching on up and out of those hips there. Inhale, and then exhale, folding forward. Making sure our shoulders are not rounding that our shoulders are back and down, and that our head is still supported. It's not like this. Taking our time here, not forcing anything. <clears throat> Shaking it out, bringing the legs together soles of the feet together. Doesn't have to be too close to where you are. It can be out here if you want. <clears throat> From there, reaching up nice and tall. And on this exhale, folding forward. And I'm gonna turn to the side so everyone can see me. But making sure here we're not rounding, but that we have a flat back here, pressing down. And even if this is as far as you can go, that's totally fine. You'll find that the deeper, the longer you hold the pose, the deeper you'll get into it. But again, making sure that we're not rounding, that the head is supported, the head is up. <clears throat> Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling. Coming on up now for four, and three, and two, and one. Nice job, everybody. This time, with the feet still here, we're going to extend one leg to the side, and then reaching on over. Bless you. <laughs> reaching on over. Making sure that we're not folding forward, but really reaching up over and long, making the side very long and pretty. And then from there, switching the torso. So the torso is now facing, facing the toes here, stretching the side, pressing this hip down.
And then that foot can relax a little bit if you want. You can wiggle that foot out. And then rotating the torso again, back to where we started. Arm is up. And then coming on up, using this, this arm here to assist us to press on up. Lower the arm down, bringing this leg out and then this leg in. Sitting up nice and tall, using our fingertips to press us up and out of those hips. Sending the arm up and over. From there, bending to the side very gently. Making sure we're not collapsing, but really reaching up and over very long. Inhaling, exhale. From there, twisting, reaching on over, lowering this hand down. The torso's twisting, facing those toes now, reaching long, pressing this hip down here. twisting back again to where we started arm comes up and then with this arm here pressing up nice job everybody all right one more seated like this and then we'll go to some twisting poses working on that core there so both legs are out to the side now it doesn't matter where they fall. They can be out over there or they can be just in front of you. That's okay. Making sure, let's put our hands on the tops of our thighs and then making sure that they're in line with our knees, which are in line with our toes, okay? We don't want anything going the other way. We don't want the toes and the knees going two separate directions. So everything is just one long line. And then reaching up, lengthening up, pressing up out of those hips with our fingertips from there, just gently crawling on out, leaving the knees up towards the sky. Very gently, just crawling forward. And even if you're, even if you're just like this, that's okay. Just making sure that those knees are up towards the sky with the toes and the tops of the thighs. You can let those toes relax making sure that they're not falling forward, but that they're still out, still up and out. Inhaling, exhale. Really focus on your breathing. If your mind is start to wander about like what you have to do after class or, you know, anything on your to-do list or just take that, just put that on the shelf. You can always come back to those thoughts later, but really focus on your breathing. Breathing in for those full four counts. And then exhaling for four counts. Nice job. Now crawling up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Just gently uh, inching the legs together. Don't want to just bring everything in very quickly. I don't want to hurt the knees there. And then from there, turning to the side of the mat whatever way you want to, just as long as you can see me. So I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna walk those ankles back just a little bit. And with this arm here, I'm going to hug both of my knees. I'm going to place this arm behind me, this hand behind me. Inhale, reaching up long, and then exhale to twist. 
Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. Coming forward. This time giving both knees a hug and then reaching on back just a little bit as this. Just leaning back very gently. The toes can be on the ground. Chin is to chest. And then from there, coming to a fully seated position, putting the feet on the floor. This time wrapping this arm around both of our legs, or it can just be one, it's up to you. This arm is going to come behind us here, just for a little bit of support. We're not putting all of our weight into it. And then from there, inhale, reaching up long, and then exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen one more time. And exhale to twist. Twisting to the front there, hugging both knees, walking those feet towards us, leaning on back. And then the head is gonna come up and then from there, I want everyone to grab the behind their knees here. We're still on the back of our sit bones here. Inhaling, exhale, making sure we're sitting up nice and tall. This is gonna work our core here, pressing those shoulders down. From there, reaching on up. These toes are still up here just a little bit. Reaching forward, inhaling, exhale. Inhale, this time we're going to lift those legs up just a little bit. And if you need to, you can grab a hold of the backs of your thighs, your hamstrings are, that's okay. Or if you wanna challenge really engaging this core, everyone, I know it's our last really tough pose. Reaching forward, shoulders are down. Exhale, lower those feet down, coming on up to a fully seated position. And then just two more here. So placing the hands behind our, placing the hands just behind our sit bones here, right behind our butt. Inhaling, really pushing in to the toes and the, and the feet here. Inhaling, we're going to come into a reverse tabletop. So inhale, lifting the hips up, pressing on up, exhale. Walking those feet out if you have to. Inhaling, and then exhale, lowering down. This time we're gonna to come to our back. Feet are still on the ground. Pressing those shoulders down. The hands are by our sides. Walking those ankles back just a little bit. And then from there, inhaling, pressing those hips up. Squeezing those knees together. Inhaling one more time. Exhale, reaching on up and lowering down. Nice job, everybody. All right, let me just do a very quick time check just to make sure I'm not going over. <clears throat> so we're down here, okay? I want everyone to press their knees together, bringing your knees to your chest. Swaying very gently from each side. and then lowering the feet down, lowering the arms by our sides. We're just gonna take a few moments here. Turning to whatever side you want and then pressing on up very gently.
Reaching arms, arms up overhead, palms come together and then down into heart center. The divine light in me honors the divine light in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this Thursday afternoon. Namaste.